Good morning, it's David George Brook, that gratitude guy with the Daily Gratitude Business Briefing for Tuesday, July 28th, 2020. And every day I'm trying to bring something that relates to gratitude and you in the business world, whether you're a manager or an employee or anywhere in the long chain of people from the, the top CEO to the uh, person in the mail room, anything that can impact you as far as how gratitude can help you in the business world. So today I want to talk briefly about some business practices. First thing is the coaching model, and I call this, and that is a good coach has three pieces of their model in terms of how they coach and mentor and help people along in the coaching world. Number one, they ask really great questions, and they never say you should, you have to, you need to, or you got to. Nothing like that. Just ask question, ask follow-up questions, number one. Number two, listen extremely careful, carefully, and being very active in listening as, as uh, I believe it was... Um, the seven habits of highly effective people Stephen Covey said listen to understand not listen to respond so listen very careful and then follow up with some questions from there and then thirdly hold accountable so it's asking questions listening very careful carefully asking follow-up questions and then holding the person accountable so if I heard you correctly you said you'll do one two three by next Friday that type of thing and I think it's so important to think about leading versus managing there's a thing that people think about well I'm a manager so I'm going to manage people and I'll be grateful for those people that's great but there's also leading by setting a good example I look at people that have worked with me that always did what they said they were going to do. It didn't just point the finger and tell somebody else to do it. I know, for instance, years ago, they did a survey about what employees want in a job. And 30 or 40 years ago, it was being in on the know was number three. Help with personal problems was number two. And appreciation and recognition was number one. So all these years later, appreciation and recognition is still important. But now number three is responsibilities. Number two is goals. And number one, and this is big, is purpose. Employees and people want a purpose. They want to feel they're part of something bigger than themselves. So the golden rule certainly takes effect here. Treat those as you would like to be treated. And I think it's the same thing about raising children and managing employees. You have to set a good example in both cases, I think, to be successful. And then how you ask an employee to do something, I'll cover that in another briefing. But would you do me a favor? Would you be kind enough? Something to that effect versus pointing the finger and I need you to do this or that. And you'll notice that if you have gratitude for you and your employees, you'll get higher retention rates, lower turnover, higher engagement and productivity, and then decreased sick outs, uh, call outs and absenteeism too. So embracing and sharing gratitude will get the most out of your employees if you show them that you care. So very, very important that you're setting a great example and uh, it'll serve you well in the business world. So that's the business briefing for today. I'm David George Brook, that gratitude guy. Remember, be grateful and never quit. And we'll talk to you tomorrow.